very good morning students and i believe that you all are putting your best effort to secure the best percentage in the coming examinations so today we are going to do a revision of the very first chapter in economics it is the story of village palampur first let's start with the introduction part the village palampur is a hypothetical village means it's an imaginary village now first we will start with the introduction here that this village palampur is well connected to the nearby town and the village raiganj and shahapur okay with all weather road means a village palampur is well connected with all this uh, with these two villages next thing the total number of families residing in village palampur is 450 Out of 450, 150 families belongs to SC community, and 300 families belongs to the other communities. Now, uh, these 150 families of SC community, they reside in one corner of the village. Their houses are made up of mud and straw, and they are small in size. And when we talk about the rest 300 families. their houses are made up of bricks with cement plastering and their houses are large in size now this village palampur is having electricity connection because of which farmers are able to use electricity for running their tube wells for running their small scale manufacturing units next thing when we talk about the educational facilities which are available in palampur then palampur has two primary schools and one high school and in terms of health facilities there is one primary healthcare center which is set up by the government and another one is the private dispensary where the sick are treated so we can say here that that the village palampur has all the necessary things which is required for considering it as the, as as the well developed village next thing we can say that the main activity of palam of the villagers of palampur is farming so farmers here they are categorized into three types of farmers large farmers medium farmers and small farmers so small farmers are those farmers whose land holding is less than 2 hectares medium farmers are those farmers whose land holding ranges between 2 hectare to 10 hectare and large farmers are those farmers whose land holding is more than 10 hectares now this families of uh, sc those 150 families they are basically the landless laborers they don't have their land of their own they are working as a landless laborers on the fields of the big farmers next thing here when we talk about an economic activity then this economic activity is divided into two parts farming and non farming activities so farming activities involves here that here the people of palampur they are involved into the farming activity that is the agricultural activity and here for the purpose of increasing the production from the uh, same piece of land because already farmers have used or converted the waste land into the cultivable land so for the purpose of increasing production because the population is increasing so they need to increase the production and for that they are dependent upon two factors or two techniques first is modern farming method which requires the use of modern farming tools modern farming equipments fertilizers insecticide pesticide and another technique here is multiple cropping where the farmers are cultivating more than one crop on the same piece of land so by this the farmers are able to increase the productivity now for the purpose of production we are dependent upon the factors and there are four factors of production that is land labor capital and entrepreneurship out of this human capital is considered as the one of the most important factors of production because other factors of production can't be get utilized can't be utilized by itself without the involvement of human capital it is not possible so 
I want all of you to go through this chapter and secure the best ever percentage in the coming examination. Thank you everyone. Keep smiling and keep shining. God bless you all.